mammals are adorable it's the little guys <laughs> stop it it's the little guys that blow your mind scientifically and if you take time to look at the little tiny guys in the wild and close up then you could get hooked in fact it could become an obsession as Paul Browning knows only too well did it work <laughs> I'm a painter and decorator in Camberley and we specialise in renovating old Victorian houses and doing specialist wallpapers, tiling and refits. My tools can be anything from a sander to a paint roller to drills and screws and paint. I'm constantly covered in dust and mess in a noisy environment so it's quite hectic for me normally. At the end of the day, the best thing for me is to pick up my camera and um, yeah, just snap some photos, lose myself in it. In his spare time, Paul has always been a keen snowboarding and sports photographer. But during one of his trips, a brand new subject caught his eye. On our last snowboard trip, we were in France, in Venosque. And after the snowboarding, which you can only do till midday, we often go on hikes around the mountains. And we went to this waterfall and there was these they look like hummingbirds. So I took some photos. And there's also some butterflies, took those. And then um, didn't think much of them until I got back and shared them into some groups on Facebook and discovered the, uh, the butterflies with some black vein white butterflies, were really rare and don't exist in um, the UK anymore. And they were hummingbird hawk moths. I was like, well, that's cool. I really want to get into that a little bit more. And um, yeah, I bought myself a macro lens. And now I, I rarely take it off, to be honest. I literally, I'm addicted to it. You kind of imagine yourself down at their world and it's incredible. They're like massive alien monsters if you are down at their size. The blue damselfly is my favourite character to photograph. I was absolutely obsessed with them. They, I, it looked like they were smiling at me. I was getting to know the little guys. It's quite weird. <laughs> there's a lovely shot I got of a spider in the web. That was one of my favorites. And there's a, a bumblebee I got sitting inside a pink flower and the pink was reflecting into his compound eyes. I absolutely love that photo, yeah. Also, some of the creatures I used to be petrified of, I now think they're the most beautiful, <laughs> cool little things I've ever seen. I can't sit through a whole film where I can't sit still for a minute, but I found myself sitting in a meadow for two hours trying to get one shot of a tiny little spider that no one else would notice. I just love that, I kind of get lost and you don't, you don't think about anything else while you're doing it. It's kind of um, it's one of the best things for me, it's almost like meditation. It's brilliant for my mind because um, my mind's constantly racing and to slow it down and then be able to go home and look at my cool photos. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's with your phone or, you know, it doesn't have to be an expensive camera. I've had no training or done any courses. Yeah, it's just been shoot and learn and fiddle and, yeah, go for it, basically. And, yeah, and I think everyone should do it. It's cheesy, but I love how happy it makes people. So if I take a picture of a snowboarder or uh, someone on a mountain bike showing that photo and they're always like, oh, wow, thanks so much. Or, and I found the macro, because I only started the uh, macro Instagram in September because someone said, you've got to put those on Instagram. And the amount of people that comment, and they're just like, wow, I love it. And if I can encourage other people to go outside and enjoy nature, then I think 
that's the best thing about it because everyone should just be outside. It's an amazing little world <laughs> down there. See, from snowboarders to spiders. I like that, I really like mm. that. And it just goes to show you don't have to be a wildlife expert to really appreciate what's around you. you I know, know I agree. I yeah, agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Yeah,